I was this close to kind of going over the edge. And then Mayo Clinic came up with the diagnosis. I, I remember I just said, oh, hallelujah. It was a relief for me to know I had something uh, that they could try to treat, even though there wasn't really a cure to this. This term perineoplastic encephalomyelitis is actually kind of an umbrella term that's used to cover several different disorders and they've been put into little different categories. Some of those have been associated with specific antibodies that you can measure in the blood and these are specific antibodies, in other words they're different for each one of these. Mayo has over many years since the mid-70s or so developed a series of antibody panels that are directed at this kind of thing and pretty much canvas the waterfront in terms of the common antibodies that might be associated with nervous system conditions. Perineoplastic disorders or non-perineoplastic autoimmune neurologic diseases can present with diverse neurological manifestations and one of those is this phenomenon of stiff person syndrome. Patients will present with stiffness in generally the lower extremities with superimposed spasms often triggered by startle that can lead to falls with injury. She had two specific antibodies, GAD or GAD, which is present in 80% of people with this and is rarely present in the normal population. Less than 5% of people have it. And then this amphifysin antibody, which is the one that is also occurs in this condition but is often associated with the cancer whereas the GAD is not so much. What we typically find is the patients pre actually present with neurological problems not with cancer and then um, we'll say oh that looks like it could be a perineoplastic disorder they're tested for that uh, and then an antibody will come back and we'll say okay well that's diagnostic not just of the neurologic disease but it also tells us the cancer type. We know and have known since maybe the 19, late 1980s that certain of these antibodies were associated with cancer. We would have never looked for the cancer in her if it hadn't been for that antibody test that was done at Mayo Clinic. So in this situation, it led to her cancer diagnosis. We caught it earlier, could treat it, and also for the conditions she had. You don't live very long with perineal plastic syndrome if somehow something isn't happening to you. And without the diagnosis, there was no way of knowing how to treat me. I mean, they were doing everything. They were giving me anything they could think of. I mean, we had surgery, we had chemo, we had radiation. Until I had that diagnosis and knew that Mayo knew something about that diagnosis. And so I would say to everyone, if you don't know what's wrong with you, don't stop there. Ask your doctor to go to another doctor or get another opinion or ask them to go to the research laboratories or best of all, go to Mayo Clinic. What's really given momentum to this area is antibody tests. Doctors are now recognizing these diseases, are know to test for them and they're getting back antibody test results. And that's all through scientific discovery. That's all through science. Something new will come out in the literature, we recognize that this is an important biomarker. We had done then a subsequent study ourselves, and then we took it upon ourselves to develop the test. Patients are getting the most up-to-date, the most cutting edge, but also well-validated tests for autoimmune neurology available. I would not be here, that is a for sure, if it weren't for Mayo Clinic, that diagnostic laboratory in Rochester, Minnesota.